Hello amazing leaders and welcome to day 87 of the amazing 90 day challenge. Just three more days to go after this day. I wonder how many of you have kept up with me and uh, been doing your own amazing 90 day challenges. I know a few of you that are about to start some amazing 90 day challenges soon and I'm looking forward to helping and supporting you on that journey as well. And if you have been doing it, how does it feel to have just three more days to go after today? For me, it's kind of a mixed emotion. It's one that I'm pleased to have got this far and nearly crossed that finishing line. And I've got something very special for the 90th day as well. So the purpose of this was to record a podcast today, if you remember, for 90 days. So if you haven't already, please go onto iTunes or Spotify or wherever you download your podcasts and look up Amazing Leaders so that you can make sure you listen to the full episode of the Amazing 90 Day uh, challenge and the podcast. I've got a special guest speaker for the last day, uh, which has already been recorded. So I know that one's going to happen and I'm going to share it again with you on the social media platforms as well. So wherever you're at in your amazing 90 day challenge, well done for doing it. Well done for trying something different and make sure you've started to think about what your next 90 day challenge is going to be. How many are you going to do? Are you going to involve other people? And when are you going to start? That will then give you your end date as well so that you can map out your 90 days for your next thing that you're going to do. Today we're going to talk about meditation and something that I've learned fairly recently in my life. I never used to do this but something that I've learned with the help of somebody special which I'm going to share uh, the contact details with her a bit later on as well. And it was introduced to me through something called eye rest. Now this was something that was introduced and um, used in the US military, US Navy SEALs and different things like that, especially to deal with PTSD uh, and those types of issues and conditions that not just the military suffer with, but other people in everyday life as well. And it's now been transformed into you know something that everybody can use and something that I use uh, on a regular basis as well. So that's something called IRES and I'm gonna give you some details about somebody that could help you with that if you want to look into that a bit further. There's also also lots of other apps out there. I personally use one called Headspace. <clears throat> There's other ones called Calm and different things like that as well. Very good at helping you and guiding you through meditation. Often when we talk about meditation, we may think of somebody, you know, sitting cross legged somewhere, uh, you know, with their fingers together uh, and humming or something like that, which is a form of meditation, but not one that I do. Uh, but it's something that you can just look at, listen to, and it will help you to help clear your mind. Our mind is the most complex thing in our entire body. Still, we don't know and understand all of it. But these different apps and meditation in itself can really help you. If you don't want to do any of that, or if you want to do something different, then just take a walk in nature. Get outside of the four walls that you're in. If you can, get into a forest or trees or something where there's a real sense of being surrounded by nature. Personally, I love rivers uh, or lakes or seas or any type of water to be around. I love that feeling of nature and the force of nature as well. So whatever it is, try and get outside as much as you can to enjoy the natural meditation that is the nature and the, and the wonderful world around us. Maybe it's because I grew up surrounded by the countryside and fields and hills and everything else like that. But I think it's in all of us that we have that ability to be able to really feel at home and centered in nature, no matter where we live or, or where we are. So wherever you are, try and do that as much as you can as well. For other people, it might be that you can meditate through words, whether that's in poems or books or certain parts of books. For other people, it might be scriptures. Uh, it might be a, a special sort of, you know, certain verse that you've got in scriptures. Um, maybe in just a word or a few words that you can just pick on and you can just meditate and think about those over and over again. Uh, whilst you're doing your meditation and it may be the same for several days or it may change every day whatever it is for you sometimes those words can really help us to get deeper into whatever it is that we're looking at and obviously prayer is a kind of a form of meditation as well and linking sort of the religious element to um, to prayer and scriptures and different things whatever religion it might be it will really help you to focus your mind on something different something to to, to take you out of wherever you are in everyday life as well. Now for me personally, uh, I've been working with a special coach, a lady called Wendy Kettle, and she runs a company called Wendy Kettle Coaching. And uh, 
I'm going to give you her email address in a minute, so you might want to write that down if you want to contact her. But she's helped me so much over these past few years to help develop my understanding of meditation through eye rest uh, and the practice that she performs as well. And she's actually helped me to design and make a running meditation for me. She knows about my 90 day challenges that I'm doing, and one of those was to run 5K. And together we put this amazing running meditation lasts just over 30 minutes includes a warm-up and a cool down as well and it's a guided meditation whilst running and it's just fantastic for me so i can actually combine two things at once what i'm trying to do i'm out in nature i'm running around and i'm meditating at the same time as well and every time i do it i feel totally different from when i start the run to when i finish the run as well so that's really you know something that i'm very grateful for and something that i'd really encourage you to look at as well to try and combine maybe two of your loves that you can to be able to um, get meditation into that as well also she's helped with breathing exercises as well and that may seem funny to some people if you've never tried that before um, <clears throat> different people call it different things and again the, the the u.s navy seals do box breathing exercises and lots of you know breathing exercises to help and control their breathing and you know whatever they're doing in different and stressful situations that they've got as well so that's something that you can look into as well um, and you can just do simple ones. Is that there's a five by five one where you breathe in for five seconds, hold for five seconds, and breathe out for five seconds, and you repeat that five times twice a day, something like that, just to start helping you get into some kind of form of stopping taking a minute or so out for yourself as well. So Wendy's contact details, if you wanted to contact her, her email address is growth at wendykettlecoaching.com. That's growth at wendykettlecoaching.com. I'll give you that at the end as well so that you can write it down if you haven't got it there as well. So my advice to you is if you haven't done it before, just start doing it, do it daily. Start small, don't try and do an hour's meditation if you've never done it before, that's probably too much. Even just to do a minute, whether it's breathing exercises or focusing on a word or walking in nature, whatever it might be, start really small, try and clear your mind and focus on something just for a minute and then build it up to two minutes and five minutes and 10 minutes and so on and so forth. It doesn't have to be something you do hours for hours and hours a day. It can just be something that helps you really get focused and clear your mind for whatever it is that's going on inside there as well. If you can, try and do it at the beginning of each day and the end of each day. That will really help bookend your days as well, helps you sleep. I've got a meditation that I fall asleep to, which is really nice. Uh, and then again, starting the day with either a running meditation or something else, just to be able to experience what that feeling is like. And obviously you can have different times meditating throughout the day as well, if you're able to. Now, if you're not convinced by me talking about it, then just think, all the amazing leaders out there are doing this now. It's something that wasn't really common practice a little while ago and then certain people started talking about it and it's come out now to be something that a lot of people really rely on to help with their stress load, help with their expansion of their mind and everything that's going on around them as well. So whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever it is that you're worried about or stressed about, I really recommend meditation for you as well. So if you want to reach out to me, I can help you put you in contact with somebody um, or email directly growth at wendykettlecoaching.com. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you'll have an amazing day and remember why be average when you can be amazing.